Well, hello there, brothers and sisters of the Vodblades universe. You're watching Vodblades Addict, and today's episode is all about this little monster, which is the T29, the Tier 7 uh, American heavy tank. Uh, it's a beast. Uh, this beast is all about the uh, turret. The turret is uh, pretty much impenetrable to anything it will face, uh, even on Tier 8. So it's a really, really nice hold-on tank, one of my favorites, uh, my first Tier 7 in uh, Blitz and my first Tier 7 in uh, Vogue PC, which was uh, my true love, <laughs> and it still is. Uh, it's really great tank, uh, we're gonna take a look at the stats, so then we're gonna take a look at the provisions, armor and so on, and then we're gonna go for the gameplay. But I can tell you, if you're using, if you're used to playing holdown tanks when you're just uh, hiding your weak hole and showing only your turret, it's uh, basically an uh, it's an artillery. You know, like you can uh, take one position and just shoot and shoot and shoot, even without moving, uh, and it's uh, gonna do uh, decent damage. I'm playing with uh, the big gun, 105 millimeters, uh, bigger alpha. Uh, but dispersion is not really uh, great, so uh, if you if you prefer a better gun, uh, you should use 90 millimeters. It has a better dispersion, a bit lower alpha. But if you're standing in a hold down position, uh, that that doesn't really matter. You will have more shots, more accurate shots, uh, so uh, they will count. Uh, even better than uh, from one five uh, one five millimeter. Uh, it's really a great tank. Uh, you have you have to believe me. You can do a lot of crazy stuff in him, uh, but also you can uh, side scrape. Uh, it's long. The tracks are wide, so you can sky side scrape in it. You can use the frontal plate while uh, being a hold down on the on the reach and you using your gun depression. So it's uh, all around a very nice tank, except for the gun, because the aiming time isn't great and the dispersion isn't also great. But you have to be just uh, used to it. Now let's look at the consumables and uh, first we're gonna look at the stats of this tank. I don't really want to bore you, so we're gonna fastly go through the stats. Uh, so 1250 hit points. The front armor, as you can see on the turret front, it's 279 millimeters. <laughs> Tell me which gun, even on a PCR, can pen you. Believe me, even shooting Pramo won't help you much to penetrate the front uh, of this turret. On side, it's also nice, 200, 127 and 102 uh, two on the rear. Hull isn't that uh, great, as I told you, you have to hide this hull. Uh, during gameplay, so uh, 200, 102 millimeters on front, but it's angled, so it's all nice. 76 on sides, not much, but still you can side scrape du due to your uh, wide tracks. And 51 on rear, which is typical for the tanks. View range is 282.5 meters, uh, which is really nice uh, using optics, but remember it's a heavy tank and it has a view range almost like a light tank. Um, the the camo isn't great, but it's a heavy tank, so it shouldn't be great. Uh, the DPM is like like I told you, two thousand and sixty four, a bit over two thousand reload time, uh, nine point zero one second average average penetration, one eighteen one ninety eight on AP, two hundred forty five on APCR, and uh, fifty three on HE. So this. Even this tank can shoot through his own turret, which is fantastic. Even using Premo. Average damage 310 on AP, 260 on APCR, and 400 on HE. Aiming time 4.7, which, is, which isn't great. Uh, dispersion uh, is uh, 0 0.380, which isn't also great. Uh, but here comes the best part elevation isn't great, only 15 degrees, but depression is 10 degrees which is really, really nice, and you can use it on ridges, on hills, just showing your turret to the enemy and uh, getting a steel wall after a steel wall, <laughs> and like, there's no tomorrow. This uh, the tank can bounce just a whole, whole day. 
Uh, so top speed isn't great, 35, but it's quite mobile. Uh, 14 on reverse, average speed is 26. Uh, power to weight ratio isn't great, only 13.6. Weight 64.52 tons, which is great. And you can ram in this tank. You will see how I ram in it uh, in while uh, I will be showing you the gameplay. On mm, third traverse speed isn't great, only 30.37. Hull traverse speed also uh, isn't great, 39.43. Uh, train crossing capacity uh, 100 on road, 74 on ground and 50 on water. 880 horsepower engine gives you a lot of uh, a lot of uh, power. Uh, let's let's just quick look at the gun because I told you about the non 90 millimeter gun. So on a one uh, one five millimeter gun, you have uh, 310 alpha average with the one. 98 uh, penetration and where's the dispersion here's the aiming time and dispersion 4.7 and 0 0.380 on the millimeter gun as you can see you have aiming time of four second dispersion is uh, a bit better only 0 0.344 dpm is better because you have uh, 200 2290 Reload time is also better, or less than six seconds, as you can see. But the pan is lacking. Uh, 160 isn't great. You have a penetration of a medium tank on this year, so it isn't great. And you have an average of uh, 225 uh, alpha per shot on AP. So it depends on your play style. You can easily use this gun uh, if you're playing, uh, if you like more accurate guns. But if you would like to uh, pick a boom uh, in this tank, you can uh, use the 105. I'm using 105, but I will probably try it also with a 90 millimeter gun. Uh, and uh, maybe I will later compare it to you. As you can see, I'm using my standard consumables, which is multi-purpose restoration pack, reaper kit and adrenaline. For provisions, I'm using case of cola can of cola and improved fuel as it comes for ammunition the penetration is really quite nice on tier 7 so I'm using mainly AP uh, 46 rounds 9 rounds of APCR and 8 rounds of HE because the HE pen is quite nice because of the gun caliber so you can HE the sides of the tanks and all the lights mediums and even heavies from the back so it's all nice as for equipment, I'm using gun rammer because the reload time is pretty long. So as you can see for this alpha, uh, uh, so it's uh, nine, oh, uh, 9 seconds uh, with the gun rammer. DPM is a bit over 2000 with the gun rammer, but if you use the calibrated shells, you'll get more pen, or less shots available. So it's, it's even better for me to use the gun rammer. I'm also using a chance gun lighting drive and a vertical stabilizer because you can see the aiming time is pretty bad on this tank. Um, as it comes for vitality, I'm using uh, improved modules. I'm using a chance armor uh, because the turret is uh, really, really nice. And I'm using toolbox in case I'm get tracked in the middle in the open, which will be deadly for this tank. Uh, I'm using improved optics, improved control, and as it comes for less consumable, I would use the high-end consumables because of the adrenaline. And now let's take a look at the armor. As I told you, uh, it has great armor. As you can see, we're shooting from IS, but it has uh, not much of a penetration, so uh, it's not going to show you the full uh potential of this tank because as you can see you can easily side scrape you can easily uh, even bounce from the front when you're using your uh, gun uh, depression you can easily hide your hatch which is a weak weak spot on the third and you can uh, be pretty much impenetrable to uh, most of the tanks but now let's go and check the better tank maybe uh, the German Tiger which has the better gun as you can see you can pan frontally but only in this position when you're side scraping if you can still side scrape if you're using gun depression you'll be still hard to penetrate only one wheel pocket on front and that's all they're gonna get 
Uh, so if you're moving a bit uh, front and back, you'd be probably mostly, in most cases, impenetrable. But let's make it a bit tougher. Let's use the tier 8 tank. Maybe Tiger 2, which has nice gun. Or maybe the Lever. Lever has a really nice gun. So as long as you're using gun depression, as you can see, you can all um, bounce frontally, even the Lever, which is great. So, uh, and remember, it's a tier 8 tank. So even if you're side scraping, not that much but you can still be able to take shots on the side, side scrape, and you'll be still safe. But the best way to use it is with the gun depression, as you can see, the lever has great penetration and it's still impossible for him to pan the front of the T29. Uh, let's maybe the check on tier 9. It could be uh, interesting. Uh, E75? Nope, still nothing. <laughs> this. This turret is really uh, incredible. You will love it. You will totally love it. Uh, let's check the maybe. Let's check if we can pan by be pan by the lever using uh, APCR. Uh, yeah, the gun mantlet and the calibrated shells. Uh, no, nah, not helping. <laughs> not helping really. Uh, well, let's check it back with the E75. It's, I'm, I'm interested by myself. Uh, so we're using APCR and we're using calibrated shells and still nothing. Man, just look at this turret. It's a bunker. It's total bunker. First game I wanted to show you is uh, on Copperfield. It's a premise game. I'm tuning with my clanmate Prince of Ravens here and his French AMX M445 and uh, it's a typical hull down tank as I told you so uh, this position is really really nice for this tank because the strong strong turret doesn't give enemies any opportunities to shoot you or just to penetrate you they can shoot uh, <laughs> whatever they want and uh, as long as they want they still not gonna do any harm to you even tank destroyers uh, will struggle to pan your uh, turret, so it's a great position for this tank. My clanmate is being a bit aggressive here. And we're just keeping the spot and bouncing shots, so everything is good. The Most of the team is here, so as long as we hold this flank, there is nothing to be worried about. As you can see, the Helsing is bouncing me, the Tiger was bouncing me, so everything is real, real good. Unfortunately, the aiming time of this tank isn't really phenomenal, as you can see. If you move, and you, it's good to move from time to time, uh, not to get your weak spots uh, in one place, so uh, it's hard to aim but if it's fully aimed, it goes quite well. KV2 has the same problem with the aiming, so... As you can see, you have to aim. If you're not aiming, there's no chance you're gonna just uh, shoot right through. So we're blowing a lot of shots, which can't count, really. So we held the enemy on this flank. They are trying to push now, we are pushing a bit too, trying to clear the Tiger, we are able to do it. The KV-2 is on the back as you can see, and we are in a bit of a strife here, on the, on the low health. Lucky enough, we made our teammate just uh, managed to hold that line and finish with the KV-2. And we can try to clear the, uh, yeah, the health now. And it's all good. 620 bounce damage, 1723 dealt damage. Quite nice. Third class. One destroyed enemy, 8000 credits earned. Top damage, as you can see. We just pulled off this game with my uh, teammate. And we did some uh, assistant damage, as you can see. And as for the credits, we were playing on a premium account and we did uh, 
managed to make 8,000 credits, but without a premium account, you would lose almost 7k. This time, a false trick, supremacy again, and this is gonna be a very short and aggressive game. You will see in a moment, uh, but we decided to cap C as fast as possible, not to give the enemy any chance to uh, to, to cap the base and to uh, hold on to supremacy points. As you can see, all the mediums are pushing C also. So we need to just go fastly and cap C before they can get it. So we're just pushing aggressively while we were moving. So SU bounced on our turret. And now we're gonna try to stay hold down and just keep the enemies away from us. As you can see AMX doesn't have the gun depression to get us. We're receiving quite a bit of shots here. But our team is managing to do good stuff here. They're covering us so now we can focus on the one side only because we have cover on the other. So now we're just trying to stay hold down and block the damage as you can see. It's a good time to clear the VK here, so it's all good now. There's only AMX on this side left, and as you can see on the minimap, our team is holding the other side, so it's all good. We're just gonna clear him fastly, and then we're gonna proceed. So it's all good now. AMX. As you run away, <laughs> but there's no chance he's gonna be able to do it. Our teammate just decides to ram AMX, do a suicide death, but still he <laughs> clears the tank, so good for him. And the IS was uh, AFK, so our team clears him. As you can see, 1100 uh, bounce damage in this intensive gameplay. And we dealt 1647 damage. We received steel wall uh, f because we were shot at more than 10 times and uh, bounced more than 1000 uh, damage. Third class, as you can see, we earned 21,769 credits. It's uh, made uh, 685 XP points. And as for the credit coefficients, even without a premium, you will get uh, 7,600. Oh, but we, we use booster here, so you would lose, you would lose like 2k credits, almost 2k credits. Another game is Supremacy on Lost Temple. We're pushing A. Temple is a good spot for this map. Uh, if you... Uh, if you can manage to get the A and B cap uh, by the temple, you will uh, have a nice uh, high ground to defend and also you will get uh, two cap points at the same time. So uh, it's good. If, uh, if you have mostly mediums, uh, they can go for C and try to uh, get C, but still uh, it's better for the heavy tanks to get on A. We're gonna use the stairs to take a hold down position. We'll cover our hole behind the stairs. Unfortunately, we didn't aim here. As you can see, mo most of the enemies are here. We're just trying to hold down here. Not to receive too much damage, but to output our damage. First shot went in. The red team isn't keen on pushing, as you can see, so all well and good. We can clear this FE quite, in quite short time. If we get a high roll, we're gonna clear him in one shot. And we're getting a high roll, clearing him for the first kill. And we're now pushing on the, on the team. As you can see, there's a T-34 there who is just shooting me. The aim time is uh, really crappy. So the distant fight isn't great, but we can easily bounce the, his shots because we have hole covered uh, behind the FE that the, <coughs> sorry, the wreckage of FE. 
so he can only shoot our turret and there's no stress because he can't pen it even from the side so it's not a problem as he is pushing on us we're gonna push on him makes a bit of ram damage and our team finish him off so now is this t34 and uh, vk30 left He won't get any supremacy points, but we're gonna get a nice ram here. A nice damage. And everyone's cleared. So we bounced 400 damage, made 2140 damage. So all good. Third class. Nothing special about these games, but we did quite a bit damage. Did uh, quite nice. And XP, uh, 760. 3 XP from this battle as it comes for crate coefficient uh, we in using booster yeah we're using booster but still you will get uh, 6k net profit without premium account and uh, 22 uh, thousand credits with a premium account and the last game is supremacy on full despair as you can see we are the bottom tier here and we're gonna push uh, C cap I don't know why this IS-5 decided to go A, but good for him if he wants to let him do it. We're just gonna push the C with the experimental here. We're not gonna hurry up this, just gonna take position here, trying to spot enemies before we engage. Experimental is pushing bit further but he has great frontal armor on the hole also so he can uh, risk being shot as long as he's there we're gonna just push a bit further front we haven't been spotted now we were so the panther is uh, trying to get us we're just gonna shoot him once more and he's cleared Trying to shoot, uh, trying to take out some other enemies. We're gonna cap this C cap, so experimental. We, I don't want to block experimental if in case he has to uh, fall back. That's why I'm just saving some space between me and me and him. But as soon as we cap out, we can just engage enemies. Don't have any shots here. So we're gonna push a bit further on this T-71 but with this gun <laughs> it's really hard to deal some damage from the distance it's a typical, it's a typical uh, close range tank more of a frontal tank uh, using hold down positions our team managed to clear the T-71 so we can push on the SU unfortunately we got shot before we finished him for the first kill but Still, we're, still, we're, we're a one shot, but our team is winning, so no problem. We can reload on time to finish this IS-5. And now there's only T-28 left, but we won't be able to get there in time, because we're not the fastest tank on the battlefield. And it was quite a short fight. We, kill, we did two kills, made only 1000 damage. But we're gonna receive the second class, and why is that? Uh, as you can see, we did 816 uh, XP because we kept the base. We did uh, 786 assistant damage. Also, we uh, get some uh, shots on the panther and as it comes for the credit coefficient uh, without the premium account you would lose like 7k over 7k credits and with premium with a booster we did 13,000 but booster gave us 8 so only 5,000 credits it's not a great tank for making credits the credit coefficient isn't great on this tank but still a tank is nice uh, so if you like hold on tanks and if you like to get uh, the American line heavy line 
uh, further than uh, or a British line you supposed to be uh, prepared for the hold down uh, positions to know what you're doing and that's all for this episode so take care bye bye see you all on the battlefield remember to subscribe to my channel because uh, there's plenty more to come uh, Get on my Discord channel if you want to send me your replays. I will uh, give you. Uh, I will give you the link below in the description of the video. Uh, so, if you want to uh, me to post your replays on my channel, just send them to my Discord because it's the by now is the only way I can get your replays online. And that's all. Take care, bye-bye, and see you all on the battlefield.